हेलो बच्चों लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन सेज कॉन कैन अ वैलिन ए इज सो वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई आउट ऑफ द फोर ऑप्शन विच बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब वॉट अ कैन कॉन कैन अ वैलिन इज सो द की कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन is to understand the properties of con canna valin a so this is a difficult question let's begin by understanding the key concept so con canna valin a is a protein it is a four subunit protein which is derived from the jack bean seeds now the second property of concanavalin which is the most important property is that concanavalin a is a type of a secondary metabolites now basically metabolites are intermediates or products of different uh, metabolic reactions and secondary metabolites are types of metabolites which are actually non essential metabolites so if they are absent then it would not cause any immediate effect on the organism in which the secondary metabolites are produced so secondary metabolites are the non essential metabolites now there are various types of secondary metabolites but the to the type to which concanavalin a belongs is the so concanavalin a is a type of lectin so lectin is a type of secondary metabolites and lectins are proteins which are glucose or mannose binding proteins so lectins are glucose or mannose binding proteins so the proteins which bind to the carbohydrates like glucose and mannose are actually lectins and concanavalin a is a type of lectin and lectin is a type of a secondary metabolite so this is a basic classification of concanavalin a Now there are a few properties of concanna valin A. So firstly, concanna valin A helps in agglutination of RBCs. So in the presence of concanna valin A, RBCs tend to clump together into a clot-like formation. second so concanavalin a is a type of a mitogen which means that it induces cell division so therefore it plays a very important role in the activation of the immune system so concanavalin a activates the immune system by acting as a mitogen and it will cause the proliferation of the t cells so since it is a mitogen it will cause excessive division of t cells which will help in the activation of the immune system so this is the second property of concanavalin a now the third property of concanavalin a is that it induces cell programmed apoptosis so it can induce the cell death as well so these are some of the properties of concanavalin a now if we look at the options then the first option says alkaloids 
so alkaloids are also types of secondary metabolites but they are nitrogen containing secondary metabolites and uh, the types of alkaloids are like there are several types of alkaloids present like there is morphine then we have codeine so these are types of alkaloids now the second option says essential oils again essential oils are secondary metabolites which are released by several plants and uh, the major types of essential oils are lemongrass oil it is the most common type of essential oil used uh, commercially as well now the third option is lectins again lectins are also secondary metabolites and the types of second uh, the types of lectins include concanavalin a so concanavalin a is the most famous type of lectin so concanavalin a is a type of lectin and the fourth option says a pigment so pigments are uh, molecules that uh, impart coloration to certain parts so pigments like chlorophyll provides coloration the green coloration to leaves then pigments like anthocyanins and carotenoids are types of pigments which are responsible for imparting coloration to different uh, like flowers or other parts of the plants as well so that's a type of pigment so we saw that concanavalin a is a type of a lectin it is not a type of alkaloid or essential oil or a pigment so our final answer is option option 3 that is concanavalin a is a type of lectin hope you understood this well best of luck